check it out. Doty across midcourt, down to one. This one's over, and this one belongs to Auburn. Tigers 67, Missouri 59. What a comeback at Auburn Arena. Welcome in on another edition of the Auburn Women's Basketball Review with Tigers head coach Terry Williams for Illinois. I'm Andy Bershon. We'll take a look back at last week's ball game, set up the final week of the regular season as well on today's show. Auburn started last week on the road at the University of Tennessee. Biggest crowd the Tigers have played in front of this season, over 10,000. And Tyrese Tanner led Auburn with 20 points. Let's take a look at the night at Tennessee. Muhammad in the key to the baseline for Julie King, left side. Down to Blanche Alberson running the post, and she takes it down the left side of the lane and puts it in. Throws to the top for Capers. Left wing Tyrese Tanner, NBA three, it's good. Capers between the circles. Left wing Clay. Shadarrell for three, missed it. Ran down her own rebound at the top. Lobs it to Davis underneath, and Peyton puts it in with the left hand. To uh, Muhammad, who drives, hangs in the air, shoots, and banks it in. Asina with the basket, her first of the night. Here's Muhammad in the lane, fade away from eight, didn't get it. Rebound Capers back up in a crowd, and she banked it in. Nice job by Cabriana. Take her to the baseline. Instead, into the lane, pull up from about eight. Good. Nice job to see Tyrese take it to the basket. She has seven. Puts it on the floor, gets a screen. In the key. Lobs it left side. Blanche, open three ball. Good. Nicely played. Muhammad across midcourt, left wing Blanche Alberson, picked up by Spanning, launches a long three, good. Muhammad at the wing, drives to the basket, makes the shot, picks up the dribble, low post pass, Davis, left wing Blanche in the air for three, good. That's a nice look. Sure was, she has 11, does Blanche. Now to Tyrese, turnaround jumper off the glass, nice shot, she knocked it home. 17 to nine in the first half in uh, Starkville. Low post pass, Tracy Tanner turns and scores. All day she yeah. can score down there. Muhammad left wing for Ty Tanner. Drives to the basket, draws nice a foul take. and makes the shot. This time there's a steal. Muhammad ahead to Tyrese Tanner. Drives to the hole with the left hand and scores. Out to the wing for Tyrese, drives into the lane. Banks it up and in. Steps back, pops the three at the top and swishes it. Asina Muhammad between the circles. Crossover dribble down the right side of the lane. Pull up jumper from five. It's good. Muhammad left wing for Blanche Alberson against Spanny. Steps back from 15. Good. Jasmine Phillips on the perimeter to the free throw line. Loses it. Here's Clay the other way with Tracy Tanner. Shadero with King trailing. Gets the ball to Blanche who pops from 13 and scores. Starts the break the other way for Auburn. Blanche up to the left wing. Gets the ball back to Shadero for three. Good. Under a minute now to go on this one. Left corner, Clay for three. Good. Shadero has three threes on the night. And this one's over. Final five seconds. Tennessee 83, Auburn 61. Boy, it, Tennessee came out red hot shooting the three early on. It was, it was tough to keep track in that ball game. Yeah, it was, that was definitely a tough game. I mean, Tennessee just came out on fire, yeah. both on the offensive end and defensive end. I thought um, offensively they hit some big threes. And defensively they really put the pressure on us immediately. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back with more. The Auburn Women's Basketball Review after this. Hi, I'm Najat Waldad. I'm the point guard for Auburn Women's Basketball. Goes top of the circle for Ordet. Three straight away, good. Uh, my favorite food is um, chipotle. It's easy to eat and it's just very healthy. <laughs> if I had to play any other sport besides basketball, it would be soccer. That used to be my first sport, so. Every TV show is Scandal. Very interesting and it's different. What is my hobbies? I love going shopping. If I could travel anywhere in the world, it would be um, Hawaii, because I never went there.
Welcome back in the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. Tigers returned to Auburn Arena on Sunday to play host to Missouri. Auburn had lost by eight at Mizzou earlier this year, and we knew Mizzou would be a great three-point shooting team. And early on, they were just that, a great three-point shooting team. Yeah, <laughs> almighty. The game started, you're like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> you know, and, and they did. They're just such a good three-point shooting team, and, and that's who they are. They live and die by the three. Um, so the first half, they hit some really big threes. You know, we really had to regroup and understand. We, we just can't let them stand out there and just shoot the three. Now we'll look at Auburn's 15th victory of the season. Weak side to Blanche, up and in to tie the game. Down the lane, gets cut off in the lane, falls down, and here's Tyrese Tanner with a breakaway for Auburn. Ty with the left hand, banks it up and in. They defend the three well, 16 to shoot, Blanche gets a screen, 19 footer in the air, swish. Abriana right wing, Ordead, wide open three ball, good. Asina out to the top for Shadero, open for a three, in and out. Rebound, Capers Great. back up and in. Great board. Low post for Capers, double team to Tanner. Up from 15, got it. And fake at three, left wing Tyrese from 19, got it. Now Muhammad, two clay. Three pointer from the left wing, got it as the shot clock goes on. I think this is actually the first game that I've actually saw Shadero Clay play under control. Yeah. You know, I thought she played very poised, but I thought she did a really good job and she hit some really big threes when we needed her. Shadero against Doty, drives to the hole and scores. Now to Muhammad, drives, loses the basketball, it comes to Blanche, throws up a three and got it. Oh my oh. goodness, what a prayer. Left wing Blanche, she'll pop a three for Auburn, good. Muhammad at the top, Clay, left wing Alverson, low post capers, bump shoots and scores. Faces the basket, right wing pass Muhammad, inside the arc, up from 15, good. And one. Shadero, right wing Blanche, 15 footer, good. Two-point game. I mean, that was the only thing that was going to win this game and get us back into the game was our defense, you know, because you, you just can't depend on offense, you know. And I thought we really manned up and got after them extremely hard and just told them, just get out. You got to, we didn't switch, you know, you got to, it was man on man on. You just got to chase your man all over the floor. And I thought we did a really good job of doing that. Inbound to Blanche, up and good with a foul! Yes! On the left wing. Out to the top, Clay for three. Yes! Shadell with her third of the day. Auburn's lead is eight. Now to Muhammad at the free throw Take line. Take her. Drives yes. past Simmons, yes. pull up jumper, got it! You, she can't guard her. Free throw line, Muhammad. Hasina from 17, good. Doty across midcourt, down to one. This one's over, Woo! and this one belongs to Auburn. Tigers 67, Missouri 59. What a comeback at Auburn Arena. Auburn trailed by 15 at one point in the first half, trailed by 10 at the half, but the second half was much different, thankfully, for Auburn. Yeah, thank goodness. You know, we upped the pressure a little bit, um, went more to a four-court defensive press and tried to just put a little bit more pressure in the backcourt so they just weren't as comfortable once they got over half court to just stand there and shoot the three. Let's take a look at Auburn's top five highlights for the week. Number five, Tyrese Tanner's turnaround jumper versus Tennessee. Now to Tyrese, turnaround jumper off the glass, nice shot, she knocked it home. Number four, Hasina Muhammad's drive and jumper in the paint. To uh, Muhammad who drives, hangs in the air, shoots and banks it in. Nice Hasina take. with the basket, her first of the night. Number three, Cabriana Capers rebound and put back. Hasina out to the top for Shadero, open for a three, in and out. Rebound Capers Great. back up and in. Great four. Number two, Blanche Alverson's a and one off the inbound. Inbound to Blanche, up and good with a foul! Yes! And this week's number one play is Shadero Clay's third three-pointer versus Missouri. On the left wing, out to the top, Clay for three. Yes! Shadero with her third of the day! Auburn's lead is eight. And we welcome you back in the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. This is the first year for this coaching staff, everybody together. Talk about what goes into formulating that first 
coaching staff and then how important chemistry is yeah. for any coaching staff coach. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely tough. You know, even even having been at Georgetown, you bring some of your staff, you know, for me, this group that I put together were well, all people that I had some type of relationship with. Um, all have worked with before or coach recruit a little bit of everybody kind of you know together and that's that's the staff that you want to put together you want to put people together that understand what you're trying to get done um, understand family understand you know where we are and what we want to do um, and even I think Caroline McCombs was the only one that I didn't have a true relationship with but we have very good mutual friends who just like you won't go wrong with hiring Caroline. There has to be a certain comfort level with, with the folks that work for you and with you, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, you have to be comfortable enough to know that whatever goes on, whatever the situation, you know, you can go in there and talk to them. They feel comfortable coming in and talking to you. It, it's just like a family, you know, it's almost like putting a family together, um, you know, with, with not a whole lot of time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Auburn's brand new coaching staff. Coach Flo and I um, were able to coach against each other in the Big East. Obviously, she was the head coach at Georgetown, and I was an assistant at the University of Pittsburgh um, for five years. And so I had an opportunity to coach against her um, during that time, and that's kind of where I learned about her and her style and her philosophy and just really uh, watched how they changed the program there at Georgetown and became successful. Well, it was uh, early in April, really, uh, I was contacted by her uh, when she was about to accept the position here at Auburn and um, I had wanted to be a recruiting coordinator and uh, just thought it would be an awesome opportunity to come to Auburn, a place where um, they've been successful in women's basketball and we'd have an opportunity to play in a, in a top conference in the SEC and just have an opportunity to build a championship program here. I actually met her on the recruiting trail uh, back in I think it was 2002, 2003, so probably about 10 years ago. Um, she was the associate head coach at SMS at the time, Southwest Missouri State, and I was at St. Louis University, so we met on the road recruiting. Um, not only is she a great basketball coach, she's someone who I have a great deal of respect for as a person, as a coach, and she's also a good friend of mine, so just to have the opportunity to be reunited with someone that I respect like and appreciate it was just an exciting feeling for me personally and professionally i've been known coach flo for i want to say 25 or 30 years and we met i was on the men's side coaching at the university of southern cal and she had just gotten the women's job at georgetown as an assistant and uh, we went to a conference, not knowing each other, we went to a conference and we met there and been friends ever since. So it's, uh, it's been a long journey for us. I was with her when they called her, actually, because I was with her at Georgetown. We were all together at the airport on our way to the Final Four. And I guess Jay called her and she stepped away from the group and then she came back and said, uh, they offered me the job. And you're not going to say anything? <laughs> so it was like that and we all got a big group hug and right there she said I just want all of you guys to know this was their staff at Georgetown that you all are welcome to come with me and uh, we'll talk more about you know details of everything but you're all are welcome and uh, I immediately said I'm coming so I was ecstatic when she you know decided to ask me to come. We have a great relationship. Um, there's never a dull moment with our staff. I think that um, we try to have a great relationship with each other and that carries over to our team. So, you know, whether we agree or we disagree, um, at the end of the day, we all do with what Coach Flo, you know, wants us to do. Oh, it's beautiful. I think we have great chemistry as a staff. Um, she's great. Um, the assistant coaches, we all are different, you know, but we have wonderful chemistry and it's great when you have chemistry like that on your staff because we spend way too much time together not to like each other. She is honestly in the top two of the best 
uh, I would you know, say boss or manager that I've ever had. In terms of the other staff, the best, absolutely the best. And it, and it shows on the court. It shows, I think, during the games, when we all work together, you know, Ty's there and Caroline and, and me, and we're standing up and we're trying to coach the players on, there is no jealousy and envy about who's doing what or who gets what credit. You know, we all really support each other and, uh, and, and celebrate each other's success. Auburn is on the road Thursday night, final regular season road game for the Tigers in Nashville at Memorial Gymnasium, an eight o'clock game. Uh, CSS will televise, of course, radio coverage locally on WMXA and AuburnTigers.com. It's a unique building. It's a unique building for the fans. It's certainly a unique building to coach yeah. at Memorial Gymnasium. Yeah, I guess it would be illegal for me to bring in a, a little horn or anything so they, they Give can. Give it a try. Yeah, you know, <laughs> all they can tell me is no, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's very different to have just so much action going on at the other end and you have no control of it whatsoever it's just they, they can't they can't hear you you know i told our point guards do not look back at me okay we gotta just stay focused on what's in front of us you know just make the call you know that's just what we just have to do um, because it's just so hard to communicate you know coach team in that facility after thursday auburn returns home final regular season yeah. home game for the tigers senior day for Auburn as well as you close things out against Mississippi State. I know, God, it's gone so fast. <laughs> it's like the last game of the season, last home game. Wow, it's crazy. Um, it'll be great, you know, what a great day to honor our seniors. And, and you just look back on, you know, four years of so much that they've put into, you know, our Auburn women's basketball team. So I hope our fans come out and cheer our seniors on. Auburn will play host to Mississippi State on Sunday. A reminder, this is another Ballin' for Books Day. Bring those children's books. There will be receptacles uh, at all three entrances. Also, bring two non-perishable food items. You receive free admission for the ball game as well. And the senior day activities will take place prior to the two o'clock kick uh, tip off as Auburn plays Mississippi State. Wish you all the best. Uh, things winding down for the regular season anyway. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. War, War Eagle to you. War Eagle. Thank for, you, For Tiger State Coach Terry Williams, Flannoy, I'm Andy Burcham on the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. Thank <laughs> you.